Welcome everyone to Unnati Unleashed. I'm your host Sagarika Sharma, joined by a special guest, uh, Mr. Ranga, a senior volunteer at Unnati Skill Center. I welcome you, sir, to our podcast, and I request you to please introduce yourself to our viewers. Thank you, Sagarika. Yes, as you said, I am uh, Ranga. Uh, I'm a volunteer and trainer at Unnati for the past almost uh, two decades. Unnati was established in 2003, uh, October. I am associated with Unnati uh, from March 2005, so which yes. is uh, almost two decades. Uh, yes, sir. So, sir, can you please uh, tell us about first a few days or early days of Unnati and how it started? Yeah, sure. It's a pleasure. Uh, way back uh, years ago, that is 2005, I joined Unnati as admin in charge. It was a very small uh, organization at the time. Um, I, I was there and Mr. Ramesh was there. Nobody else was there except the students. Yes, and we had a very small uh, infra, two bedroom house taken on rent, yes, where we were uh, training about 25 to 30 youth, both boys mm -hmm. and girls. Yes, uh, in, it was a 90 day course at the time. So we used to have uh, three batches of uh, 30, 25 to 30 students. But the philosophy was the same train them and place them in jobs. Yes, but at the time, we didn't have uh, any curriculum of our own. We sir. didn't have our own staff also. We mm -hmm. entirely depended on volunteers who yes, were uh, drawn from uh, retired professors, retired diplomats, retired teachers, even serving professionals. So they used to come and I used to fix them. I used to put a timetable and we used to handle classes. It used to start right now like that, 8.32. Uh, evening six. We used to. We didn't have computer lab of our own. Mm -hmm. We used to outsource computer to a nearby center where the students used to go there and learn computer and come. Yes, sir. Uh, so that is that's how we began. It was a small and now it is very surprising and sometimes not of course surprising how we have grown and unimaginable proportion. To yeah, true. Look at it. Yeah, true, sir. Yeah. So, sir, uh, in your opinion, what has taken Unnati from those days in a uh, bedroom apartment to the work that we see happening all over the nation today? Like, what uh, what is it that Unnati has that made it possible? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can. It, it's really fabulous. It's fantastic to say. Uh, unimaginable to me. Yeah. I never thought we would rise. But, of course, we had a dream. The trustees management had a dream. The first uh, uh, important aspect in uh, scaling up and bringing Unnati to this level, to this level, is mm -hmm. our our own infrastructure. We created our own infrastructure in yes, 2008. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the present infrastructure, which is about 23,000 square foot building with all the facilities, uh, state of the art classrooms with projectors, mm -hmm. online, our own computer lab, our mm -hmm. own kitchen. Uh, mm -hmm. dining hall, our yeah. own office space, all those things was the first step in scaling up Unnati's uh, operations. Sir. And just a few months before we shifted to our new infrastructure, mm -hmm. we had a partnership with one NGO based in Delhi, Youth Reach of India. That okay. Youth Reach was uh, introducing a pilot project on uh, skill developed youth, unemployed youth. Uh, this uh, uh, youth development uh, uh, curriculum and project was initiated by GE Foundation along with uh, 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 International Youth Foundation. So they had come up with a big program to introduce that in countries like India, Mexico, etc. So India was one. So youth resource in search of partners where youth program was being held. And UNATI also was one among them. So I represented Unnati and uh, Mr. Ramesh sent me for uh, this uh, master training program at Delhi. Okay. And that was a that was a game changer. We went to Delhi. I went to Delhi and came back with a lot of I myself changed those 10, 15 days changed me. Yes. It was sir. a new learning. It was a new learning for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, we we had a big big uh, responsibility. We were given a target of training uh, people for as trainers for uh, uh, Unati and uh, youth. Mm. So I started doing that. Mm. So what is what is important is 
uh, from uh, where we had a very informally training students. We had a curriculum of our own. We had contents of our own. Mm -hmm. And uh, this contents uh, curriculum was about 60 topics. Okay. Very, 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 very exhaustive vol voluminous. Yes, sir. Uh, containing, containing core, core competencies, environmental issues, community development, yeah. uh, volunteering aspects, gender issues, alcoholism. There are so many things. But we chose, chose 20, 25 topics which are immediately suitable to the youth because number one teaching all these 60 topics we will not have time it was a, a 70 day course at that time yes, and then the students will get bored if you start holding them for a longer period because the youth would not stay for a longer period of uh, that's why they used yes. to drop out of school the school days used to be very long no so they used mm -hmm. to drop out of this yeah. this is the finding finding of educationists so yes. we had to we had to cut short the duration to suit mm -hmm. the youth's uh, aspirations. So we chose about 20, 25 topics. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, you can hear. Yeah. yeah so we chose about 20, 20, 20. The methodology, the curriculum spoke about the methodology, and we introduced that methodology in right earnest, and we found that students started liking it because. Uh, learning without it's fun. Learning yeah. is fun. fun and we yeah. had to introduce that aspect mm -hmm. because one of the one of the factors why uh, students used to drop out of school was mm -hmm. the school atmosphere, the punishment, uh, the yeah. failures, the yes, discouragement. Sir. Yeah. So all those things. So we had to change everything. Mm -hmm. So the unnati way or the uh, our new curriculum way was to make students enjoy the classes. Once you enjoy the classes. The learning becomes easy. That easy. is the uh, idea. Uh, so true. we introduce uh, the class used to be fun. There used mm -hmm. to be a lot of interactions. Yes, we sir. used to encourage the students. Mm -hmm. We never used to criticize the students. Yeah. We used to uh, have group activity. Mm -hmm. We used to have energizers. Mm -hmm. So everything was that. So the students never felt they are attending a class or training. It was fun all the way. Yeah. Yes, sir. So we were able to retain them. We were able to encourage a lot of students, youth, to join our course. Yeah. So this was tailor made for them. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And it was tailor made for them. So it was easy procuring students. Uh, then when we moved to our uh, new infrastructure in 2008, we could attract more than 100 students every batch. Oh, okay, sir. And we, we cut down our uh, duration to 50 days. And then we used to uh, uh, we used to uh, train 100, 150. Even oh. I remember 170 students in one batch. Oh, one batch okay. like that. Yeah. So it went on. Yeah. Then, then slowly when we were settling down, we had our own program. We mm -hmm. stopped uh, uh, outsourcing even English classes. We had our own in-house training. Mm -hmm. English teachers were trained. So yes. the training of trainers also simultaneously went on. Yeah. Then we got noticed somehow. Okay. So yes. some. So this is a, a prelude to our new next program, which is happening today. Mm -hmm. So sometime during 14, 15, mm -hmm. some colleges started inviting us. Why can't you come and uh, uh, conduct our course in on on site in their Sorry. colleges mm -hmm. to suit our uh, uh, finishing school classes? So one such experiment was done in Archie College, Bangalore. Where really? we held a 30 day, that was the beginning, 30 really? day class. Mm -hmm. That was a very good experience. Students liked it very much. Yes, sir. Then we went to one uh, uh, engineer uh, degree college in Gonnikopal, Poor. Mm -hmm. okay. So we stationed our staff there and uh, we conducted 30 days course. At the end of the course, the principal expressed her surprise. How, how nice, how is that that you are able to change our students? Okay. In 30 yes, days, when we were not able to change our students in three years. So we got yeah. a pat on our back. <laughs> the third, the third uh, experiment was uh, uh, we had a not a very uh, pleasant experience in I, uh, ITI in Bangalore, uh, the government IT institution. We didn't okay. have a very pleasant experience there. Okay. Uh, so uh, they would not cooperate, government agencies. Mm -hmm. And then we had a, we went to, uh, uh, Portagiri, one uh, small uh, taluk in 
Uti, Utakam and uh, district in Tamil Nadu. Okay. It was a uh, polytechnic college. Yes. There we trained about uh, polytechnic, outgoing polytechnic students in life mm -hmm. skills, spoken English. That was okay. very well received. Yeah. And then uh, the last one, as I remember, were, uh, at the time, the experiment stage was uh, engineering college in Palten, Pune. Near Pune. Okay. And we did, we did several courses there in Pune. Uh, we made our uh, trainer stay there. And okay. I used to go for to supervise. So that was a very, very big hit. We did several for uh, yes. spanning over two, three years. Yes, sir. And the professors and principals watching the program got so much impressed. They approached our organization whether we would be able to train their professors. Oh, OK. Yes, sir. Yeah. So initially, <laughs> initially, when Ramesh Swami broached the subject, I said, we can do it. But when I talked to my trainers, Mm -hmm. They said, sir, they are all professors. I said, anyway, we are not going to handle physics or chemistry. No, we are going to handle our own uh, attitude-like uh, issues. Yes, sir. So we designed a program. We designed a program for that. That was a very challenging thing. Mm -hmm. About yes. 30 professors, assistant professors, senior, MTech, MBA, uh, well-educated mm -hmm. personnel, professors and assistant professors. In two batches, we did 30-30 professors. That was very well received. Yes, and sir. we got a very lot of very good feedback. Yes, sir. So all these things made Unnati very popular around South India. Then that is the time when we thought we uh, scale it up uh, first initially in Karnataka. Mm -hmm. Unix centers were started. Mm -hmm. Either our own centers were started and we approached different colleges. Mm -hmm. We got accredited. Yeah. We also were in touch with uh, uh, the government of Karnataka. Uh, organization technical education director okay. from whom we got a letter that uh, 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 colleges can agree to Unati's training so mm -hmm. we went big in this we created a separate department somebody to coordinate all those things then slowly yes for the past three four years we are now expanding dramatically in Uttar Pradesh Madhya Pradesh even Nagaland Northeast mm -hmm. there nobody would like to venture even Kashmir Kashmir also we went Baramulla yeah. Yes, sir. So now we are spreading like, and then recently, you know, uh, I heard that uh, in 23, 24, we had uh, 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 trained uh, more than a lakh of students. Uh, yes, sir. That is a great landmark. Mm. So that is one of the, one of the talking about methodology. I told you the first thing was infrastructure. Second thing was getting our own content and syllabus mm -hmm. to make the classes more interesting. Yeah. And what is the difference between the traditional uh, training and our own training is the attitude. We give a lot of importance to attitude because uh, attitude is the cornerstone on which the entire Unnati edifice lies. Yes, sir. So, what is that? Uh, if you ask when I have the training, when I ask students uh, which is more uh, powerful attitude, knowledge, or skill, 99% of the students always say it is knowledge. Yes. Uh, knowledge oh. we have always given importance to knowledge mm -hmm. but un unfortunately psychologists have proved educationists have proved that attitude is number one mm -hmm. and skill is number two for somebody's yes. success yes, if you sir. want to succeed in life mm -hmm. the first thing is the attitude yeah. not knowledge mm -hmm. not no not knowledge yes, the second one is the skill skill to do yeah. you have to do the doing is always superior to theoretical mm. knowledge yes sir. so we incorporated this mm -hmm. and then educationists have uh, categorized three type of learners mm -hmm. like uh, somebody is an auditory learner somebody is a visual learner uh, some are a kinesthetic learner yes, sir. you want me to explain this or? yeah please sir see uh, 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 auditory learners are they learn by hearing so college students Mm -hmm. or beyond college, post-graduation, all those things. Yes, but there are students who are not so much educated. They would like to see a film. Yeah. From that, they would like to earn. Mm -hmm. Visual learners. Mm -hmm. I want to see something, then only I can learn. Learn, yeah. I don't think without seeing your face, if I keep talking, mm -hmm. it may not be very interesting for me. Yeah, So yeah. visual effect is visual, visual effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah. Third thing is the kinesthetic learning. Yeah. Kinesthetic is 
some people learn by doing it like computer computer yeah. should just explain i will yeah. not learn if mm -hmm. uh, you ask me comment this button do this go there i do it myself the kinesthetic so mm -hmm. for our students we found it very suitable to introduce uh, visual and kinesthetic methods visual that's why we uh, installed projectors tvs mm -hmm. in all the classrooms yes, and uh, kinesthetic is taken care by doing our group activity every topic in life skills what we do or yes. in english mm -hmm. we have group activity class where the students are divided into groups and they are asked to find a solution it is like assignments that is a major part of our topic in every mm -hmm. session mm -hmm. and we don't want to dilute it so all these methodologies have really helped unnati scaling up becoming popular and then our revolutions are there and along with of course now of late we have also started getting corporate funding so we were able to expand expand and then i used to tell mr ramesh yes perhaps one day uh, we will become deemed unnati deemed university yes sir first skill train yeah first skill train yeah, yeah. So thank you so much sir i won't take much of your time now and yeah. i would like to wrap up with extending a big thank you to you for uh, giving us your valuable time and insight so thank you so thank much sir and thank i would like to thank, thank our viewers also for uh, joining us and tuning in yeah. with us for another episode so thank you so much sir thank you viewers thank you sir